So, you know how to manufacture bullets, but you want to upgrade to missiles. Not a problem. Assuming you watched the last video about bullets, you should have two blueprints. One for the bullet, and one for the turret. From this point, it's actually very easy to change the bullet into a missile. To start, go into the bullet blueprint, and let's start with aesthetic changes. Since we are using some older special effects, we're going to delete the Niagara particle and replace it with a Cascader particle. And then set it to the P rocket launcher trail and add a static mesh, which should be set to your missile object. And make sure that collision is set to none. Now at this point, just make sure you got everything in the right order. The box collider should be up here, the static mesh right under it, then the particle, then the radial force, then make sure the rocket trail is positioned at the back of the missile. And now that it looks like a missile, go into projectile movement and slow down the initial speed to something like 350. Make sure that is homing projectile is checked to true and decide how fast you want the missile to turn. I'm just gonna set it to a thousand. Now we probably wanna change the blast radius to something bigger like 20,000 and we can keep all the old blueprint stuff the same. The only difference is we should probably change the sounds of the collision. So I'm gonna use this. and the sound of the launch, which I am deciding is this. And we don't really need a muzzle flash anymore, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Let's change the particle effect for hitting something to something a little bigger. I'm just gonna pick this one. And if you drag your missile onto the scene now and press play, it should look pretty good. Awesome, now we need to give it a target. To do that, under the event begin play, drag your projectile movement out, and then drag out a homing target component. Promote this into a variable and name it something like missile target. And make sure it's instance editable and exposed on spawn. Save, and now you can go into your launcher, and you'll see the simple code that we use which just says if you press the E key, spawn the bullet at our turret's location and our turret's rotation. So all we gotta add to this turret is a way for it to give a target to the missile. So we're gonna create a new actor variable, we're gonna name it target to send, make sure it's editable and exposed on spawn. Drag it in, and then drag out a component by class. Set this to scene component, and connect the missile target. You're done. So here's how all this works. If you click on your turret, you will now see the target to send variable is available. And if you drag or use the color picker to give it an object, that object will be sent to the missile as a target. So if we pick the cube as the target and we play the game and press E, Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.